I found the easiest way to generate inbound calls with email marketing. My name's Edwin Culver from Making an Impact, owner of Foxhound Advertising, and this video is all about generating inbound calls with email marketing or just beefing up your inbound email marketing altogether. Now, if you're running into issues like you're not getting enough sales calls for your online consulting business or even your local brick and mortar business, if you're getting lots of objections on sales calls, like people aren't pre-sold on you uh, and they're not pre-vetted or they're not qualified, if you, if you feel like you're having to spend a huge amount of time just chasing people down and wasting it with like tire kickers, doing like cold outreach and people aren't even interested in you in the first place, um, if you're you know getting on these conversations with folks and you're having to convince them and persuade them and you're feeling like a snake oil salesman um, or it, you know basically at the end of the day, you feel like an unwelcomed pest um, and you, you just want people to actually start pursuing you and to see you as the expert, um, to see you as the authority in your field, then this video is for you. And also, you don't have to be afraid of spamming people uh, using this method I'm about to show you. In a minute, I'm also going to show you how you can actually grow your email list and generate inbound calls totally for free using some free traffic that's as powerful as Google ads. Um, but first, we got to talk about the actual strategy, right, um, that goes into your inbound email marketing funnel. And th there's a few steps to this. What I, I want you to do is make sure you take out a notebook. Watch this video all the way through. Have your notebook handy. Take notes. Um, and at the end, circle one th thing in that notebook that you can implement today. Because if you start taking these tiny little actions right away, they're going to add up. I always use the analogy of like the, the way a torpedo works when it's homing in on its target is it actually just it just keeps kind of self-correcting um, and taking these little left, right, left, right, you know, until it basically it, it hits the target. And that's going to be the same thing. So grab your notebook, take notes for this entire video, circle your action step, go do it. What we want to do here at the end of day at, at the end of the day is create a big uh, email marketing funnel that step number number one automates your customer journey, right? And so you might have to sit there and and think about this for a second. Um, you know, what is it that my customer needs to do in order to buy from me, right? So step one here is just going to be draft out your customer's journey. Um, and a, a way to think about this is like, okay, how do they go from aware uh, about us to actually buying from us? Um, you know, there's probably, I like to think of it in terms of beliefs. What beliefs do they need to have? What problems do they need to have? Uh, and then uh, the other thing I'd like to just add in there is what ideal characteristics do they need to have in order to be you know, an actual buying customer for us, right? So what beliefs do they have? Okay, so the beliefs, this could be like, what are their dream desires? That's another easy way to think about it. Um, what are their desires? And then what are the problems keeping them from achieving those desires, right? And what ideal traits do they need to have? So like on the agency side for us, you know, we uh, have a solution that uses some AI to book sales calls and things like that. And so we really got crystal clear on this. You don't need to do the, the crazy fancy, like build up an avatar and, you know, trap this thing about Susie wakes up at 7.30 a.m. and drinks her Starbucks coffee and has one and a half kids. And yeah, like you don't have to do any of that stuff. Just simplify it to like, hey, what are the two to three traits that, um, you know, our ideal client needs to have to be an ideal customer? Um, and the in that case, you know, for us with that uh, AI agency stuff, it was like, well, they need to have a high ticket offer you know, they need to be charging at least three to five grand, um, um, if not more for something. They need to be running paid ads like Facebook ads or Google ads. Um, and they need to have just one person uh, on their team who could manage uh, a, a pipeline of, of sales calls getting booked day in and day out. That's all they need um, for them to be an ideal client. And then the belief is that, you know, they want to scale their business. They want to grow past, you know, 100K per month. Um, you know, the problems that they have is their cost per call is too expensive. Um, they're not able to reach enough leads. They're not booking enough calls, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all we had to do. And boom. Um, you know, that that that's all you, you need to do in this case, too, is like, okay, what beliefs do they need to have? What problems are they facing? And, you know, what are the ideal traits of this customer um, that, that we want to basically funnel into buying from us? That simple. Now, step two is going to be 
basically creating a really, really awesome but simple way to get people on your email marketing, uh, get, get people on your email list. And you've probably heard this phrase before, lead magnet, right? You just create a lead magnet that helps people. And the, the structure um, drafted out here for folks. Da, 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 da. One second, share my screen. The structure I like to use for the lead magnet is pick a really big problem. Okay, so take one of these big problems here. Show people a solution. You know, it's kind of like show and tell. Just show them how to actually fix the problem. And then at the end, have a little call to action for them to take the next step, which if you're watching this video, it's all about getting inbound, you know, sales calls. And all you got to do is say, hey, call, call us, right? Um, if you liked this, here's how to learn more about what we can do for you, or here's how to go deeper, or here's how to take the next step. That's all it needs to be. And people sweat about this. They think they have to, you know, hire a fancy designer to go and create something like, yes, you want to represent your business, but money loves speed. And it's better just get this thing done, verify that you've got something that, you know, people are, are actually consuming and, and going and booking calls. And then you can go back and hire a fancy designer and make this really nice. And uh, if you're wondering like, okay, but what is a lead bag? That's kind of a weird phrase. It's just, you know, anything you're putting out there to magnetize people to you. This is how you start to eliminate that, you know, those sales objections. This is how you pre-sell people. This is how you get people to view you as an authority. Um, you're basically just doing goodwill. You're just helping people and you're demonstrating, right? You, you, you know, you're just showing up and demonstrating like, hey, we can help you. Like, this is how we help people. This is, you know, if you're having this problem, here's what I would do. Um, and, you know, you can go do it now. Um, if you want help doing it, you know, book a call with us. We've got, you know, a training program or, you know, we're a consulting agency and we, you know, we'll actually work with you. We'll hold your hand through the process, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So this could be a ebook. This could be a video, it, you know, sky's the limit here, but keep it super simple. Help them solve one problem, one solution at the end, tell them to take the next step, whether that's buying something from you or, you know, booking a call on your calendar that simple. That's all it has to be. And I just, I, you know, it boggles my mind how many businesses don't have this. And to be honest, I, <laughs> you know, it took so long to build these and that sort of thing. And uh, it, it totally transformed my business once we did. Um, and the, the whole point is to ask for their email address, right? In exchange for this information. So if they give you the email, um, now you can keep following up with them and make sure that, uh, you know, Step number three is they actually go and consume the email, um, the lead magnet, right? So what I do here is now that we've got them on our email list, I bump them into a little, what I call a consume um, sequence. Okay, so this consume sequence is just like three to five emails. And you just want to send these like the first, you know, two to three days or whatever. Um, and you just want to tell them like, hey, go make sure you go read that thing you opted in for. Um, go consume it, go watch that video, go read the, the PDF, uh, whatever it is. Super, super simple. That's all your emails need to say. Um, and uh, you can get this written, you can get this done today. You can get the lead magnet done today and you can get your consume uh, email sequence done today. The, there's no excuses here. And these just super short, pithy little subject lines. Hey, read this. Hey, uh, watch this. Hey, reminder about this. Um, you know, your subject lines don't have to be anything crazy fancy. You don't have to worry about open rates and stuff right now if you don't have something like this. Um, and if you do have something like this, you'll be shocked how much just simplicity, you know, gets through the marketplace um, and, uh, you know, get, gets through to people um, and gets them to actually look at this thing and start reading it, watching it, consuming it, getting pre-sold on you, start seeing that, that you're the authority in your space and that you can actually help people because you're showing them like, hey, here's a big problem. Um, and here's a big way that we help people do it. By the way, if you want us to do it for us, call us, right? Super simple there. Um, and while you're sending those emails, then you can start beefing out simultaneously what I call your educational sequence. And this is this is what you know a lot of people would call like your nurturing sequence, right? Um, and if you can come up with like 10 to start off with, super simple. So you'd basically follow this exact same structure here. So you got 10. Now, now you just come up with 10 different problems that you can help people with um, that you didn't address over here. And 
for each problem you come up with, come up with, you know, 10 solutions. And then you just go write 10 emails, right? One email is about problem number one and how you would solve it. And then you just put your call to action there, which is book a call with us. Um, you know, email number two is just a different problem and a different, and, and the solution to that problem. And by the way, if you'd like us to help with this, we've got a super awesome program, you know, book a call with us to learn more about it. Uh, this, this too can be, you can just sit down and write this out, draft these, you know, come up with 10 problems, come up with 10 solutions. And, you know, your next 10 days worth of emails are written, or you're, you can send these weekly. Um, eventually, what I like recommending folks do is like get the first 10 written real fast, so that, you know, every time you get someone uh, opting into your lead magnet, they're immediately going to be put into a really cool marketing machine here that's going to start nurturing them to, to book a call with you immediately. But then for the next, you know, 52 weeks, if you can commit to writing one email a week, at the end of the year, you're going to have a whole year's worth of emails done. And you don't have to come up with 52 different problems. You could probably keep talking about the same 10 problems uh, over, you know, over those 52 uh, weeks, um, just, you know, from slightly different angles or change up the language and everything like that. And now you've got a 52 week email sequence that is literally warming people up. This is the easiest way to start getting people pre-sold on you, on what they're doing, uh, on, on what you're doing. And, um, you know, it, you didn't have to put a ton of effort into it. You don't have to be super creative and try to use all these copywriting tactics or anything like that. It's just show people that you understand what problem they're facing. Um, show them that you can uh, solve it for them and ask them if they'd like to book a call to learn more about how you would do it in their case, customized to them or, or, or however your business operates. Um, now, last thing here, as uh, they're receiving these, I like to add on what I call a little call to action sequence. And this one, super simple as well. This is just three to five emails. And this comes immediately afterwards, right? So as soon as they land here, as soon as they uh, opt in for your lead magnet, um, you know, make sure you grab that email address. As soon as you've got the email address, just start sending them three to five emails, telling them, hey, go consume that lead magnet, go read that thing, go watch that thing. Um, after, you know, the couple of days of them receiving that automatically bump them to the call to action sequence if they haven't booked a call with you yet and the call to action sequence is literally basically the same thing super simple email except this time instead of telling them to go here and read the thing you're just telling them hey go book a call with us uh you know here's you know what we can do uh, on that call and you just basically sell them on taking the next step and again super 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 simple emails um super simple subject lines. Literally, you can just say, call us, or would it be a crazy idea to chat? Um, just nothing. You don't have to be super creative here. Uh, they just landed on your email address. This is when they're warmest. This is the best time to, to get them uh, you know, booking calls. And if they don't end up booking a call here, it's okay. You've got your 10-part education sequence. It's going to keep warming them up, keep nurturing them. Um, and if you, you know, commit to the 52, you know, writing one for the next week, uh, you know, you're going to have 52 of these and then you could you eventually do 365 of them. And then you've got an email going out every single day uh, and you've built this asset. You've done the work once, like the hard work, you know, it's not that hard. What's the problem? How would, how would we fix it when we tell our clients to fix it? Uh, and, you know, book a call with us. It's all you got to do. Um, and you could have 365 of those and you've got a machine now that it doesn't matter where people are coming from. Once you get their email address, you know that uh, they're going to be warmed up to actually booking that call with you and taking the next step and obviously buying something. Now, uh, if, if you want to learn how to grow the email list, right, to actually grow the list on email pilot and just get more and more people landing in here, because you want to get this to thousands of people, uh, that's how you create the the foundation in your business. That's how you eliminate kind of the feast or famine pipeline sort of thing um, is just by getting so many people on this that you could just send out emails and turn the faucet up, turn the faucet down, load up your calendar, things like that. Uh, if you want to know how to actually fill this using literally free traffic on Google and not using SEO, like SEO takes six months to even see any results, um, you know, pot maybe, um, but it, but this is basically like Google ads, but you don't have to pay for the actual clicks. Um, it just gets you right on the, the top really quickly. It's a, a little known way. Um, I've got a free 10 part course. I'll find the link here. I'll put the link in the comments below too. 
and uh, go ahead and sign up for this free 10 part course. It's, uh, you know, how to end the feast or famine customer acquisition trap once and for all, uh, all sorts of really cool stuff that I'm going to be basically sending to you the next 10 days. Um, so you can see that I actually put, you know, this into, into practice, right? And, um, you know, what, what we do is you know, go through how to find new customers, increase sales, get more clients. And specifically, you're going to get an invitation to the training on the, the free Google ads traffic. And again, you don't even have to have a Google ads account for this to work. You don't have to pay for any clicks or anything like that. The reason I like Google so much is that's going to get you high intent buying mode people, right? They're not on Facebook watching cat videos or on Instagram just looking at pictures. They're actually on Google um, literally searching you know, up the problems and looking for a solution right now to their problems. And so if you can get those people on your email list and, you know, you're nurturing them with something like this, like, boom, uh, game over, right? Um, so I'll make sure that uh, is down in the comments below. And as always, you know, make sure you hit the bell and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comments below. Uh, what was your action step today? I'm, I told you to take out that notebook to watch this video all the way through. Um, now go ahead and look at your notes and circle. What's your one action step you can take today to get this started and, and implemented? Put that in the comments below because I want us to create a community here where we keep each other accountable on, you know, what we're actually going and doing because knowledge is worthless without actually going and implementing it. So until next time, get that work done. Uh, I'll see you on the next video, which I believe is going to be about my favorite inbound marketing tips for B2B sellers on how to get more leads and sales. So specifically on B2B uh, for getting more leads and sales. So until then, hit the bell and subscribe, comment below, let me know what your action step is, and we'll see you there. Stay awesome.